Hello, hello, Facebook Live, hello. Hi, Amanda, Barry, hello. I am a little bit early today, but I thought I would, um, I thought I'd jump on early so that I could kind of oh, ground myself and be ready to start at the time that I said I'd start. I'm Jerry. hello. Thank you for being here. Gonna have a little sip of water while I wait for people to join. Excuse me if I was slurping then. I most definitely heard slurps. <laughs> All right, so grab a pen and paper. I'm gonna get started because I need to go uh, on or before half past and I want to share something really cool with you so um, I'm going to be you can watch this on replay but I am going to be asking you to close your eyes and do a really cool exercise if you've worked with me and you're familiar with my work then brilliant we're going to be using a state of being called the innocence state of being and if you haven't worked with me that's fine I'll just guide you through so um, I'll tell you why, uh, what I wanted to share today. So kind of thinking about, you know, procrastination and when we don't create what we love and we don't, when we don't take the action um, that we know will lead us towards our dreams or actually really, weirdly enough, often we even don't even know what that action kind of should be and that's what you're going to get clarity on today okay so what have i called this facebook live the three steps to ensure that you create a fantastic week but also day when you create seven fantastic days what have you done you've created a fantastic week when you do that every week you have an amazing month and then 12 of those, you have an incredible year. I mean, this is a game changer, you know? So um, I'm gonna be asking you to think about something you'd love to manifest. It could be a dream, a goal, something that you haven't yet created, okay? And then I'm gonna guide you through this really cool process so that you can get clarity on what next step to take. Okay. Now I'm also doing a training, a free training on Friday, and I've popped the link to register for that um, in the description as well. Now um, I'm going to be taking what I'm sharing with you today one step further in the training on Friday, so I hope you'll join me for that. So, you know, you know when we have a dream, right? And either we know what the next action should be or, you know, the, the thing to do to manifest it, or, or sometimes we don't know. But even if we do know, very often we don't take that action, you know? It's like when you think about someone who has the kind of life or the dreams that you've created, it's, it's, it's often very good to look at, you know, what are their habits? What are they doing? And, and sometimes it might be true to also, you know, do those things, um, to take those actions, you know. Um, but there, there's a phrase that I love, and that is that um, our behavior is the highest form of communication. So what we're doing communicates what we're going to create, you know, what we're all about. It's like if I was to say to you, okay, no, I'm going to grow my company now to um, 50 million a year. And you were like, okay, cool. Well, do it. Let me see it, you know. Or another old favorite of mine is, yeah, no, I could have a successful you know, a uh, coaching company bringing in however million a year. Um, and I always remember one of my mentors saying that he was kind of having a bit of an argument with someone and I was like, yeah, I can do that. 
And he said to this person, he said, okay, well then go do a 24 hour fast. <laughs> and what was really weird was that actually that person came back cap in hand and they said that they couldn't because their mind took them out of it, their old behaviors. So, you know, very often we, we kind of look at our behavior and we get a little bit annoyed at ourselves. And, and I don't think there's any point in doing that because our behavior is only our path of least resistance, yeah? So, you know, do you get that you're, you're energy? You know, we're all energy, yeah? And like a river, a stream on the mountain flowing into a river, flowing down to the sea, it's following the path of least resistance. Its structure is the riverbed and it follows that path. Now, we're energy as well, so we follow our path of least resistance. So you might be asking like, what on earth is my path of least resistance? Well, it's the things that you've always done. It's what you're used to, you know, it's, it's your old programming, you know, um, and, and it's also what you see other people doing. That's why, you know, it's, it's quite difficult to maybe be the only millionaire in, in a group of non-millionaires or, you know, the only happily married person or happy in a relationship person in, in a group of people that are all miserable in their relationships, you know. So you've, all through your life, you've created grooves in your, in your neurology, you know, in your, in your physical structures, your way of being, your physiology, your, your, your communication, your, your neurochemistry. You've created certain pathways and they're automatic you know it's like that is your path of least resistance but just think so so just to explain that if you think about driving a car okay you know when you started to drive you're like oh my god driving, you know having to think about everything and like and then suddenly one day you're able to kind of you know drink a cup of coffee and drive or well, then another day you drive from your home to work and you get to work and you're like, how on earth did I get here? But if you had to actually think about all the things that you need to do to drive a car, like say you, um, say you damage your foot, okay, and and you have to you have to really consciously think about what to do with the pedals or or you have to kind of maybe. Um, only use one foot for a moment or whatever. It's it's like really challenging. It's really, really overwhelming. Okay, a simpler example is you're brushing your teeth. You're used to brushing your teeth with, say, your right hand, your left hand, right? Just say you damage that hand and you have to brush your teeth with the other hand. It's like, I've had to do that before and it's like super difficult, super difficult, super challenging. And, and that's what I mean. It's like um, we created, we've created patterns, you know, we've created... Um, these patterns, the the easiest way, the path of least resistance. Okay, we've always always done things that way, and it's like, you know, sometimes we have a behaviour, you know, maybe um, not getting up at five or six a.m. to do our meditation or yoga or whatever, or you know, overeating or having maybe a glass too many of wine or whatever. Yeah. We have these behaviors and, and sometimes we don't know why, you know, um, it's like, you know, you know, if you're a coach or whatever, that, you know, a good thing to do to, um, get yourself out there is to do Facebook lives or to do webinars or to call, you know, prospective clients, but you don't because you're afraid you'll get rejected or you have fear or whatever. It's our program. So it's really good to, first of all, notice our, um, our behaviors, our, 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 you know, the way we do things. Because as I said, behavior is the highest form of communication. I love that. I love that so much. It's a, it's a new thing for me, um, you know, that quotation. Um, and yeah, it's, it's been a game changer for me. It's been a game changer. So is that true for you? I'm really curious, you know, type, feel free to type into the, the chat, you know, is that true for you? 
Um, you know, what behaviors do you have? So, we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna have some fun. What I want you to do is to think about something that you wanna manifest, okay? So say uh, it is a beautiful new home. Uh, imagine it's uh, that you would like a purpose-driven business, purpose-driven, successful, fun business. Maybe it's vibrant health and energy, whatever it is. What is it you would love? If you can word it in a positive way, so it's true, it's from your heart, it's what you'd love. You'd love it, you'd love it, you'd love it. Okay, so you're not avoiding anything. So we're not going, I don't want to be ill. Yeah, it's like, I choose, I choose. It's good to start, start the sentence with, I choose. What is it that you'd love? What is it that you would love to create that you haven't created yet? That's the first step. Right? Um, so that's the first step. And feel free to write it down or put it into the comments. Okay. What is it you'd love? Is it a beautiful new car? Is it a new business, new relationship? What would you love? What would you love? What would you love? So by allowing ourselves to even think about this, we're actually engaging the mind to tap into the field, that space of unlimited possibilities and inventions and ideas. And we're actually going to tap into the field and get clarity on a next step to take to create what you want. So think about what you want to manifest. And we're going to do a process and tune in. So when I was a kid, so I grew up in a city. And I was the only one of my siblings that grew up in a city. Um, we had moved there by the time I was born. But when I was a kid, I remember going to my uncle's farm. And... It was just one of the most exciting things ever, you know. I would wake up so early in the morning and I remember going out and playing with, you know, the puppies and the kittens. They'd have sheep dogs and there was always a puppy there and there was kittens. I remember there, always, there was always kittens. There was always like baby babies uh, and chickens and all sorts of things in, in the barn. You know, they'd like be burrowed away in, in the hay. And, you know, young sheep and lambs. I used to love, and I chat away to them, you know, and I'm sure they used to talk back, you know, at me. Like, we'd have insanely sensible conversations. And I just used to love it. I would love, you know, there would always be special food there at the farm. And, you know, I'd be treated so well. And it was such a different life, you know. It was like summertime, away from school time, away from the city. And, and it just... When I think about it, it just makes me, it just puts me into that kind of vibration of, of gratitude and love and wonder and awe, you know, and I, I just, I still remember the eyes of, of all of these like kittens and, and puppies and, and beautiful animals and, you know, that gorgeous, yummy kind of just grounded way of being, you know, having fun gorgeous food as well but you know I think what excited me the most as a kid was just just this wonder and all you know first thing in the morning you know playing around and because you know, the day starts so early on a farm doesn't it but I used to love it and it's that same kind of energy you know the energy of of when you see you know children young children playing on the beach and they're like fascinated by sand and they're they're fascinated by by nature and all the wonder of the world or you know like your first kiss or maybe how you felt when you know your first well when any of your children are born that just sense of wow you know wow and I just I just love that sense can you feel that can you allow yourself to to drop into your heart you know allow yourself maybe to feel gratitude for 
you know, what you've got in, in life for, for the, the, the beauty, the wonder of life and, and love and, and the awe, the beauty of nature and the world and gratitude for that. It, gratitude is such a good way of allowing ourselves to drop into our hearts. So from that place, here I want you to do is, is I want you to step into, so if you've just joined, I was getting you to think about a dream, a goal that you'd love to manifest. So, so allow yourself to step into that reality. Imagine that you've created it. My God, you're basking in, you know, that beautiful, beautiful end result of this, maybe say a new relationship and you're just in love and oh, and what it is so much fun and it's flowing and it's just like, oh my God, I love this person so much and, and I feel such love. Maybe it's a relationship or maybe it's, you know, maybe it's a new car or a new home or maybe it's you just suddenly allowing yourself to create your new business. You're doing work you love, you love it. Whatever it is, just allow yourself to be in that dream, in that end result. You're basking in it. You're, you surrender to the bliss of being in that dream. Allow yourself to close your eyes as long as you're not operating heavy machinery and allow yourself to be in that end result. You're in the dream. It's, oh my God, it feels so good. You can hear the laughter. You can hear the fun. You can feel the joy, the fun, excitement. It's like you're sparkling. The whole world is sparkling. It feels like everyone else is in love. It feels like everyone else is in gratitude and in a high vibration. So just allow yourself to bask in that energy. Now, I want you to ask yourself a question. What did I have to do in my old reality to create this? What did I have to do in my old reality to move into this reality? And when you've got that, write it down. Take a note of it. So ask yourself, what did I have to do? What action did I have to take to create this end result? That's it. How was that? How was that? Type into the chat, let me know. How was that? So that's a really, really, really powerful exercise, you know. Um, I know that a lot of you will have got some really interesting things there. And here's the thing. You just stepped into a timeline where you have created what you love. And you've connected with your higher self, your super conscious aspect, which has given you guidance on a next action to take. And, and here's the thing. I know that not all, all of us take those actions, you know? Um, sometimes we, we, we just don't, you know? Why is that? I think it's because sometimes we get a bit tired. We think, no, you know, we don't believe. We don't believe that we can create what we love or, or we don't believe in our higher self or we don't believe in the vision and we don't believe that that wisdom was true and that it will allow us to create what we love. You don't have to keep doing the exercise, obviously, but it's just such a powerful exercise. So this, the first thing is just get clear on what you'd love, you know, get a true vision of what you'd love from the heart and you want it only because you'd love it, okay? Not because you want to prove to anyone else, not because um, it'll, you know, stop you being broke, because you love it, you know? You want to create it because you love it. And then the second step is to step into that beautiful place of innocence, wonder and all, and then ask yourself, so what did I do? What did I do in my old reality, current reality, to create this desired reality. It's just so much fun, so effective. Now, I'm doing a free training on Friday and I'm gonna be taking a deeper dive into this magic, okay? I'm gonna be um, talking about uh, neuroscience, quantum physics, 
and the revolutionary superconscious recode system, which will allow you to unplug from any resistance that might be stopping you from creating what you love. And I'll also be sharing why the personal development world is just broken because you are not broken, okay? You don't need to change to fix yourself. You just simply need to unplug, allow the resistance to fall away so that you can flow effortlessly towards your dreams. Okay, who got some value from that? Who loved that? Because I want to share one more thing before I go, and that is that the importance of just following through, taking action, you know? Um, I know personally that I have um, not been brilliant at following through in the past. I've been amazing at standing in my own way because we're the only person that's in our own way ourselves, you know, and I used to be really good with it. Um, so I know that a lot of people have an identity, you know, a way of being that means that they don't follow through. But here's the thing. If you can change that identity and you become a person that either, that, that actually just chooses to follow through, there's a couple of things that are going to happen. And I'm so grateful to one of my new mentors for, for sharing this with me. Um, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm just humbled. Um, but there's two things that are going to happen when you decide to be a person that follows through and takes action, okay? And the first thing is that you're not going to promise to or commit to anything that you're not, that you don't love, that you're not going to do. And the second thing is, is that you will follow through and your life will change. So notice, how does that feel when you think about being a person that will always follow through, you know? How does that feel? It feels really big to me, I've got to say, you know, but it might trigger, it might trigger the people pleaser in you or, you know, the part of you that wants to protect and control or, you know, the introvert part. So I'm, I'm curious. Um, so if you got some goodness from that, or even if you didn't, <laughs> join me on Friday for this free training because I'm going to be diving deeper into this and I'm going to be allowing you to unplug, release any resistance that might have come up when you think of the dream or when you even think of following through because remember, behavior is the highest form of communication. All right, I love you so much. Thank you for being here. And even if you're watching the replay, thank you. It's perfect that you're here. Um, and, and let me know in the comments, you know, what you got. And uh, I'll see you on Friday. So much love. And I'm going to be here every Monday, at least maybe three times a week. But definitely every Monday, I'm going to be doing a Facebook Live. So I love you so much. See you next time. Bye now.